Lisa Schrader. I'm program director of the Phoenix, Arizona campus. One thing about dental assistants, we never sit down. We obviously get into um, the office. So right away in the morning, we have a morning huddle to talk about the patients that are coming in. We might be going from a filling to a cleaning, to a root canal, to a denture, to another root canal. By the time we look at the clock, we're seeing our last patient. So that's one of the things that I like. I like that um, flexibility. I like to run um, and I don't like to be bored. Probably the feeling of accomplishments. Um, to see a patient that comes in who's very nervous to, to sit in the dental chair or maybe hasn't been to the dentist in years, to see that look on their face when they do get that smile back, um, working with them. One of the biggest ones is the radiation health and safety, which is your ability to take x-rays. Um, you need this for, um, especially here in the state of Arizona, to be hired. Another one that they look for is a coronal polishing certificate. And this is your ability to um, polish patient's teeth. Actually, there's quite a bit that I don't think a lot of people are aware of. You're not just a dental assistant. You are a dental assistant. You could be a lead dental assistant, become an office manager, um, or an office manager not only of one office, but maybe your doctor has six sites. You could be that district um, manager. You can be regional manager, back office trainer. You can actually work in um, the federal government doing prisons. Um, you can travel, be a traveling assistant. Um, I know for myself, uh, for quite a few years, I worked at an office uh, Monday through Thursday on Friday I would fly out to different um, army bases and get the guys ready or the guys and the women ready to be deployed. So I'd be, you know, that's another avenue. And it's just giving back to the community also. My advice would be do it. If you're passionate about people, and if you are one of those people that really likes to help and see an accomplishment, dental assisting is gonna be the path for you. We have a very well thought out curriculum. We are gonna give you all the hands on that you will actually be doing in an office. I have brand new students that are already doing hands on their very first day. We will be doing coronal polishing, which means cleaning the teeth. We will be teaching you how to do a root canal, taking impressions for maybe a bleaching tray or a mouth guard. We're gonna show you how to do x-rays and get you ready for that national exam. We also teach the students empathy. If we treat every patient as a family member, mom, dad, brother, or sister, you're gonna really have knowledge of that patient and they do see that you care. That's what makes a great dental assistant. It's not just doing the work, it's actually feeling the work and knowing what that patient's going through. Yes, we do have an externship at the end of your courses. That is 180 hours that we put you at an office and it's, it's your hands-on training through an office. One of the big benefits of doing this is this is your working interview. This is where your office can see not only your skills, but your personality and to get you hired. Um, we have a lot of students that do get hired off of their externship. And especially if it's a corporate office, maybe they're not hiring at that office, but they will make sure that they're looking around at their other offices to see if they have any needs. I had a 17-year-old, going to be 18-year-old student come into the um, class, 
very, very nervous, but very outgoing. Uh, knowing that she, I didn't know her age, but seeing her skills, seeing her kind of take charge of older students really made me want to maybe guide her in a leadership role. Um, and again, I pushed her a little bit harder because I knew she was capable of it. Uh, she's only been out of school now almost two years. She has, she was hired on her externship. She just started at another company because a doctor had um, saw her, talked to her while he was visiting with the place that she was working. Um, now she is a lead assistant and she's actually uh, reached out to me and it's one of the offices now that we're sending externs and she's actually training them. She's training them the way she was trained in school. So she's really taken it farther than, you know, within this short period of time. I do have other students that already are lead assistants, um, office managers, but not as a short of time as this one student. So it really makes me proud to see that she had a good experience at Carrington and she's continuing that. The students, and not only, and I'm not saying that just because I'm an instructor also, but I tell my students every day, the day that I stop learning from them is the day I need to probably get out of the field. I know we all learn things, but I don't think the students think we learn from them. It's amazing to see the accomplishment on that first day. They don't think they know anything that by the time they come back or they come back from break, it's an aha moment. And to see that, it's a feeling of accomplishment. It's a feeling of they do want to be here. Um, now, everyone's going to have their up and down days, but when I see the students at graduation or I visit them on their sites, uh, they still will bring up, oh my gosh, I didn't think I knew anything. And here they knew it all along. It's just that feeling of doing it, practicing, and feeling confident. Mm -hmm.